What do you think about radical candor, by the way? Because that's a different radical honesty. I'm not sure if you guys try that route either. I'm just curious. What do you think about that? Just to talk about what I would say is not the rules. It's the structures of relating is what keeps us together. So it's our potluck dinners twice a week. Mm. Um, It's our parenting meeting that we have once a week as a group of parents. Mm. It's the heart shares meeting where we really get to show ourselves for four minutes and then we get reflected back by the members of the community for two minutes. And sometimes that's tough love. And sometimes that's just, I see the, your magnificence. Mm. But either way, it like it's better than TV. I promise you it's better than TV. I could imagine for, for people who are into it, this is, this is their, this is, this is our jam. I guess so. I guess yeah. that's it. Yeah. And then we have a house and a visioning meeting to essentially, yeah, to just to, to cover bigger topics, activism, what we're caring about, what we, where we want to serve. Yeah. I love that. This is, this is the kind of community I, I would be, love to be a part of their structure and is their implicit or explicit culture rules or tools that you use you have rituals to focus on different domains in the personal side in the in the community side as well as the broader impact side so that's really beautiful because within the community like the way we like to see it is can you depersonalize this whole thing where like in a community we all play a role and sometimes in that community, we, we, we end up playing different roles. So it's just never going to be one thing. So uh, one person might be prone to always want to be the truth teller. They're like, the ra- they're the ones who are like, just always putting it on the table. Like, they're like, whoa, you just went there. One more. So that's my ex-partner, ex-wife, Melanie, is very much that. She is so... Wow. And honestly, her partner is very much, they bring that kind of, let me lay down, lay lay down. (laughs) And then in the community, you got this more like empaths and the more it's, uh, hey, I'm going to love this. I'm going to love you into submission. And that's more, yeah, so there'll be other people in the community and there, but they're they're amazing at one thing, but they're also prone to be slippery around truth. Mm. Mm. And so it's, and so it's a dance and there's beauty in people who are so in relation that they actually just want you to have the best experience. And there's so Mm. much beauty in the people who are just laying down and you freaking just know where it's going to, it's coming at you. And it, believe me, when I was getting divorced though, uh-huh. Was it hard? Was it hard to be loved by that truth telling? Mm. Yeah, and that's their currency of love, right? Boom, giving you truth. If they don't love you, they wouldn't give you truth, so to speak, right? Yeah, but it's always that. But that's not always the love language, mm-hmm. and that, that's certainly in times where you're st- most struggling. Mm-hmm. I think we need to be seen, appreciated, love before we're just banged with truth. 